Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. Up to now we have seen the different ways of sending the data through the HTTP request we have seen it. There is nothing but first one is by, by clicking on the link. So automatically the browser will send a server request by sending the data using the get request. By uh, default it will send the get request. And we are sending the data using the query string. And the second one is uh, by submitting the form. So using the form we can submit it using the get request or the post request we have seen it. Now the next way how we can send the data through the server is that is nothing but using the cookies. So cookies also plays a very important role. Uh, with the cookies also we can send the data to the server or otherwise server can send the data to the browser. And every time when a server sets the cookie in the browser and every time when a request is made the browser will send the cookie data by default to the server also. In this video we will see how we can set the data by the server the cookie and also by the browser also how we can set it let's try to see it. For example let's say that here in our javascript let's say we have a we will try to set a cookie document dot cookie is equal to so here i will write channel name is equal to leela webdo okay now we are setting the cookie here so we are setting the cookie now let's try to refresh this page okay let's go back side yeah protocol dot html right in this one we have set it and here we are able to see the channel name Leela Web Dev. The cookie has been set by the browser. Now the cookie has been set by the browser. Now we need to access it in the server side. So that means we need to send this data to the server side. So in order to access this cookie, what we can do is so in PHP, so we have a global super global variable that is nothing but dollar underscore cookie. And here we can write channel name. So this is the name, right? We have used it. And we can echo it. Or otherwise we can also print it echo channel underscore name let's see what will happen now if you try to see the output so we have now i will submit this one see now we are able to see the leela web door. that is nothing but it has been set by the application here this channel name. we are able to see this channel name. so this is how we can send the data every time when we are trying to make a request main.php and here if you try to see in the request headers the cookie value will be sent here okay the cookie value will be sent to the server all the time whenever you are trying to make a say uh, we make a call the cookie value will be sent all the time now for example how we can set the cookie in the server side so that the browser can save it so here if in order to set the cookie what we can do is so here we need to use set cookie okay set cookie and we can set username something like Leela okay so we can set it like this now if you try to see the output so if I try to refresh this main.ph page we are able to see the Leela web door and when you see the application and the cookies we are able to see the username Leela has been set and whenever we are trying to access this one so we are able to see that cook cookies will be sent so this time the cookies is not sent now when I refresh this page again now the cookie will be sent see now we will be able to see the channel name Leela web is sent and also the username Leela is also sent from the second request onwards. Why? Why? Because in the first request we have set the cookie at the time the cookie username cookie is not available. The server has set the cookie. So this time from the second time onwards the browser is sending the cookie to the server so that the server can access this one. So if you want to access this one let's try to remove this one all. Okay. So If you try to remove this channel name. So I am trying to delete these cookies. See now the error will come. So if you try to echo dollar underscore cookie sorry dollar underscore cookie of usernames first time it is not there right so dollar underscore cookie of username so let's comment on this one dollar underscore cookie of username yeah now we have set the cookie and we are trying to print the cookie value if you try to refresh this page you will get an error so warning undefined array key so username is not uh, is unable to distinguish why because first time it is trying to set the cookie so from the next request onwards now here if you try to see in the main.php this one request the cookie is not sent now if you try to refresh this page this time onwards the cookie will be sent every time whatever the cookie is available in this page the cookie will be sent if you try to see here somewhere yeah cookie username leela now this time i am able to print the value so this is how actually the cookie works <clears throat> and also we have some of the options something like uh, http only 
so that if you have this http only mark means so what will happen is if you mark this one means then what will happen is so only the server can able to access this cookie the client side scripts like javascript and all those things cannot able to access this cookie and cannot able to edit this cookie whenever we are trying to access this cookie you will get an empty so that is also one of the important thing you need to understand http only means only the server can able to access or server can able to modify it and the other thing what i want to tell you is so here you can say so this time i am deleting this cookie okay so here we what what is the code we can write is if is set of dollar underscore cookie of username so if it is set means then you can print the cookie value so you can print the cookie value or otherwise if it is not set means what i can do echo cookie is not set refresh the page to get cookie value okay so this is the code now if you try to see the for the first time if you try to refresh this page so you'll able to get that cookie is not set refresh the page to get get the cookie value so this time the cookie is set we didn't get any cookie sent to the server by the browser now this time already cookie is set right this time the browser will send the value so that you are able to get a lila so this is how actually the cookie works okay so this is also one way how we can send the cookie and uh, and also through the javascript also we can able to access it for example if you try to refresh this protocol.html file so protocol.html file so now we are able to uh, set the cookie right in the application and here we are able to set the cookie right now in the main.php what i will try to do is so here i will try to do echo dollar underscore cookie of channel name so i will try to do this one so now what will happen is so if you try to refresh this page and if you go submit see we are able to get a leela and also the leela web dev also we are able to get it so we can able to access all the cookies which are set by the javascript in the server and server also can set the cookie value so this is how the happens and the another way so this is the third way how we can send the data using the cookie value so the first way is using the links and the second way is using the form and the third way is using the cookies and there is a another way fourth way that is nothing but ajax thing so that is the concept which we are trying to learn so through the ajax also we can send the data to the server through the browser so that is the main thing so we will learn from the next session onwards about the ajax and all the things so this is the this is the brief introduction so in order to come uh, do the course something like do uh, understand the ajax and all the things we need to have a clear understanding how the cookie works and how the http request works and all those things we need to have a clear understanding so that is the reason i have explained you these all things hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you